for number six from last night, guys, uh, we had this picture, and I said, hint, I gave you a hint, I said, you know, make the radius of the circle R, because they don't give you any sort of unit, right? So you have to actually uh, come up with this, let R be the radius of the circle, then you can see that the uh, width, the side of the big square is 2R, correct? Yeah. It's the same as the diameter. And of course, the square inside within this circle is going to be a, uh, yeah, R rad 2 because it's 45, 45, 90 degrees triangle, correct? So if that's what we have, and if we want to know what is the chance of us picking a random point in this big square so that it's inside a smaller circle, well, it's basically area of the small circle over area of the big circle. So what's the area of the small circle, guys? Yeah, R rad 2 times R rad 2, which will give you 2 R squared. Right? Which would you get? And then what about the big uh, square? What's the uh, well, area? Of the, four yeah, 4R four four R squared. And when I, of course, multiply out, the R squared is canceled out. So that's why, you know, they didn't give you any units because you could have picked any units as R and so forth, and you, you will see that it's, there's, half, uh, there's half chance. In other words, the smaller circle is half as big as a big circle. I mean, not circle, square. The small square is half as big as a big square. Isn't that right? That's basically what it's saying, okay? Once you got A, okay, again, this is 45, 45, 90, right? Not if you didn't see that. Okay. Uh, B, when you look at B, it's nothing more than then. Instead of the square, we want the shaded region. Well, to find the shaded region there, all you have to do is what, class? Subtract the triangle from the one fourth of the circle. Right, not triangle. You subtract the square from the circle. circle. Yeah, why would you? Yeah, you could actually, you know, just look at this as one part. But, you know, why not just find the area of the circle and then minus the... Uh, square because then do we know the area of the circle then what's the area of the circle class? Yeah, so we know it's just si simply circle minus the inner square over big square So pi r square minus we know what the area of the square inside was we just found it right 2 r square Over 4 r square. We know what the area of the big square is just like the be just like before right? Isn't that the same thing as before? Yeah. All you have to do is subtract the circle minus the area of the circle minus the smaller square and when you do, you get, well, you could factor out the r from the numerator, can't you? Because it's a common factor. And what happens to the r squared and r squared? Cancel out. Cancel out. So what is your exact answer? Pi minus, pi minus over 4 is your answer. Now, if you have a calculator, you could punch it in. It comes about uh, 0 0.29 That's your answer. Okay. So if you were to round the nearest hundreds, that's what you get. No, so on the test, if you, you just leave it as pi minus 2 over 4. That's fine. Okay. You don't have to punch it in. Okay, any question? Because I want exact answer. So. Any question on this? Okay. Okay, 16A, it says pick a point on AB, I mean, on the circle. What is the chance that it's going to be a 90 degrees, right? That angle? That makes, it's always going to be 100% because, which is 1, because what do you guys know about an inscribed angle in a semicircle? Yeah, so look, you pick any point, right? Right, this is always going to be what? It's always going to be 90 degrees. Yeah, half of the ins ins uh, half, half of the, the semicircle. Yeah, half of the semi. What, what's what? 90 divided by two? 180, right? Remember, inscribed angle. It's the half of the intercepted arc. The measurement of the inscribed angle, right? Now B says B is interesting. They say, what is the chance of you picking any point on this? Oops, any point on the circle, and it's going to be less than 30. So that means, what do you? Okay, let's see. This angle right here, what is the smallest angle that this is? I mean, what is the arc has to be? If this has to be 30 degrees, this has to be? 60. Yeah, smallest angle that it could be is 60. Remember, it's half of the, inscri half of the intercepted arc. Oh, oh, so okay. therefore, if this is 60 degrees, what is, your, what is the chance of you actually uh, yeah, picking any? Yes, it's 60 180. over 180 is correct, which is? One third. OK, that's how we get 1 third. So it turns out it was pretty straightforward. <laughs> All right, good. Any question? All right, let's move on to the end of the notes, okay?